Chapter 25 A Benevolent Suggestion Early the next morning, I shared a light meal with Lysias and his family. Before their children left for their jobs at assistance, Laura encouraged my faltering spirit by saying good-humoredly, I've already arranged company for you today. I've asked our friend Raphael to come by. He works at Regeneration. You may accompany him to the new ministry. Raphael is an old acquaintance of our family, and he will inform Minister Genicio that I have sent you. I cannot describe the happiness that flooded my soul. I was radiant. I was deeply moved by her devotion and thanked her, unable to find words that could express my joy. Lysias was also very happy. He embraced me warmly as he left, touching my heart with his gesture. As she kissed her son goodbye, Laura recommended, Lysias, inform Minister Clarencio that I will be on my way to work as soon as I hand our friend into Raphael's care. We were alone. My friend's devoted mother spoke kindly. My brother, allow me to give you some recommendations for this new path you're on. I believe that a mother's support is always worthwhile, and since your own mom doesn't live in Nasalar, I would like to provide you with a bit of guidance at this time. I am most grateful, I exclaimed emotionally. I'll never be able to tell you how much I appreciate your help. The kind lady smiled, adding, I've been informed that you asked for work a while back. Yes, yes, I agreed, remembering my meeting with Clarencio. I also know that you didn't obtain it right then, but that you later received his authorization to visit the ministries that connect us most closely with the earth. With a meaningful look, she continued, I speak by right of my greater experience and would like to offer you a few humble suggestions regarding the matter. Now that you have his authorization, you should avoid all impulses of mere curiosity as much as possible. Don't be like a moth fluttering from light to light. I know that you have a strong bent for intellectual investigation. As a studious doctor who was always in search of new discoveries and enigmas, it would be very easy for you to get sidetracked in your new position. Don't forget that there are many lessons to be learned that are more precious and worthwhile than merely analyzing things. Healthy curiosity can be a very helpful mental attitude, but also a dangerous one sometimes. The domain of curiosity can enable the resolute and loyal of spirit to accomplish great deeds, but those who are indecisive and inexperienced can meet with bitter pain without helping anyone. Clarencio has offered you a permit to visit the ministries, beginning with regeneration. Well, do more than simple observing. Instead of giving vent to your curiosity, carefully observe the activity at hand and jump in at the first opportunity. If given the chance to take part in the duties at regeneration, don't try to be ambitious by concerning yourself with the work seen at the other ministries. Learn to build your circle of relationships, and don't forget that the spirit of investigation should always be second to the spirit of service. Minding the activities of others without having shown a good performance yourself might be considered a criminal impertinence. Many failures in the doings of the world have their origins in a similar anomaly. Everyone is ready to watch, yet rarely is anyone willing to perform. Only worthy labor endows the spirit with the indispensable merit to claim additional rights. Because it is located in the lowest region of our spirit colony, the ministry of regeneration is replete with hard struggle. All the teams that are entrusted with the most arduous missions are recruited from regeneration. Don't consider it beneath you to accept humble tasks. I would remind you that in all our spheres, from the planet to the highest colonies in the highest realms, the greatest worker is Jesus himself, and he wasn't ashamed to wield the heavy saw of a carpenter. Minister Clarencio 
has kindly authorized you to get to know, to visit, and to analyze. But if you work with common sense, you may convert observation into useful service. A supervisor may justly refuse your request for some special line of work because it is rightly reserved for workers whose efforts and hardships have duly qualified them for it. But no one will turn down the cooperation of a willing spirit who loves to work for the sheer pleasure of serving. My eyes were moist. These words had been spoken with motherly affection, and they sank into my heart like a precious balm. Seldom in my life had I met such charitable interest in my fate. Her advice touched my very soul, and, as if desiring to temper the seriousness of her concepts with love, Laura added in a kind tone of voice, The science of beginning anew is one of the most noble that our spirit can learn. Those on the planet who fully understand it are very rare indeed. There are very few human examples of it. Nonetheless, we ought to recall Paul of Tarsus, a wise scholar of the Sanhedrin and the hope of his people, who, because of his learning and youthful age, was the target of everyone's attention in Jerusalem. One day, however, he retired into the desert to begin his human experience all over again as a poor tent maker. I could no longer contain myself. I took both her hands in mine like a grateful son and covered them with the joyful tears that bathed my heart. Lysias's mother now had her eyes fixed on the horizon and spoke softly. Thank you, my brother. I believe you didn't come to this house by a blind stroke of luck. We are all interlaced in a web of secular friendship. Very soon I will return to the circle of the flesh. Even so, we shall always be together in heart. I hope to see you hale and hearty before my departure. Make this house your home. Work and be of good cheer, putting your trust in God. I gazed at her gentle face with my tear-filled eyes and experienced the joy that is born of pure affection. I had the impression of having known her as a devoted friend from olden times, although I tried in vain to place her among my most distant memories. I wanted to kiss her over and over with the tenderness of a son, but just then someone knocked at the door. Showing inexpressible maternal tenderness, Laura said, Raphael has come for you. Go, my friend, thinking of Jesus. Work for the good of others so that you may find your own.